This is Georgina Clutterbuck coming to you from the beautiful east coast of Australia. Together with Dr. Megan Ald and Dr. Leanne Johnston, I undertook a systematic review and created a decision tree. This review captured high-level gross motor assessments that reflect the type of activities that ambulant children with CP would be performing when they participate in sport or physical recreation. Items represent activities from a wide range of sports, from playing soccer, basketball or baseball, to being involved in gymnastics or dance, and even physical recreation activities, such as attending parkrun on the weekend. We identified 11 assessments for inclusion based on the availability of reliability or validity data, specifically for the population of ambulant children with CP. Seven of these items were categorised as high-level motor skill assessment items, which included the assessment of a single gross motor skill. These items including jumping skills, the vertical jump and the broad jump, running skills, the muscle power sprint test, the 10 times 5 metre sprint test, and the 10 meter shuttle run test, climbing skills, the timed up and down stairs test, and ball skills, the seated throw. These tools are most useful if you want to specifically assess the skill that's included, or if you need a quick and free assessment that gives an indication of overall gross motor function. The remaining four assessment tools were high level motor skill assessment batteries, which included multiple skills. These included the functional strength measure for CP, the test of gross motor development, second edition, the gross motor function measure challenge module, and the Peabody developmental motor scale. These assessments measured a broad range of activities and were more appropriate for times when you want a comprehensive assessment of high level gross motor skills. In terms of psychometric data, we developed a graphic to visually represent the strength of the validity, reliability and responsiveness data in this population. The more full each wedge is, the stronger the evidence that was available. These graphics are designed as a sneak peek of the data, with the results discussed in detail within our paper. The tools included in our decision tree are the types of high-level assessments that accurately reflect the types of enjoyable and exciting activities that we all want children to have the opportunity to participate in. It is so important that we use measures that are valid and reliable for children's goals and responsive to the types of interventions that we're providing. Stay in touch with our research following the Children's Mode Control Research Collaborations Facebook page or our Twitter at cmcrc underscore tweets or follow me at Georgina Peds PT.